Olmsted was invited by several Louisville leaders in 1891. Later that year, he was commissioned to make a park system for Louisville by Mayor Charles Jacob. This would be his last project of his career as he retires in 1895 and died in 1903. And his sons, John Charles Olmsted and Frederick Law Olmsted Jr. took over for their father. Olmsted was famous for being the designer of New York City Central Park and was known as father of landscape architecture. One of Olmsted's greatest achievements or greatest skills, shall we say, was his ability to manipulate the land, to manipulate Mother Nature. What Mother Nature could design, Olmsted could design better. Olmsted had a very specific plan for his parks, and this plan included three large parks, one in each sector of the city with connecting parkways. In the east was Cherokee Park, the south was Iroquois Park, and the west was Shawnee Park. Today, the Louisville Park System is nationally known as the largest park system the Olmsteads designed and is the only park system that was designed by all three Olmsted men. And in 1989, the Conservancy was founded to help with the efforts of Louisville Friends of Olmsted Parks. How long have you worked at Olmsted Parks? I have worked at Olmsted Parks Conservancy uh, for 11 years. What made you want to work at Olmsted Parks? I wanted to uh, get involved in an organization that was giving back to the community. I had been in marketing for over 15 years in advertising agencies, and I wanted to try something different, and so the nonprofit world sounded like a great place to be. How do you feel that Olmsted Parks contributes to the community? Well, Olmsted Parks Conservancy raises money for the Olmsted Design Parks in Louisville, such as Cherokee, Shawnee, and Iroquois. And there's 15 other parks around the whole city. And so all the parks provide places uh, for families to go and children to go and adults and teenagers to go hang out and be outside and enjoy whether you're reading a book or you're hiking or you're running. Uh, just a place to go to uh, be quiet or, or have lots of activity. How would you describe the four areas of focus? So historic preservation is one area and so we like to um, make sure that we're preserving what Olmsted designed and that can be um, you know including pavilions like the Galbert Pavilion, which is over by Big Rock um, area in Cherokee Park, and it's a pavilion that we want to make sure is, um, it looks good and people can come out and take picnics, so we make sure that the historic pavilions are taken care of. Then we have environmental focus, and we want to make sure that, that, um, that the parks provide the city what they need, like trees, and we have healthy um, creeks and we have lots of animals that come out so parks provide environmental aspect for our city and then we have advocacy because we need to make sure that we don't have highways running through parks or they sell the park and then we have big buildings that are built uh, so we want to make sure that we advocate for the park and uh, make sure that it's preserved and then we have what's called um, well-being, and that means that uh, we want to make sure that as you go out, as each person goes out to the park, that there's um, amenities that you can enjoy, like restrooms and water fountains and play areas to make sure that you have healthy places to go to enjoy the park. What can we do to preserve the future of Olmsted Parks? So you can get involved with um, Olmsted Parks Conservancy, uh, whether you donate money or whether you volunteer. Uh, you can come out to the Olmsted Parks and help us um, plant more trees or mulch um, or different projects. Or if you donate, it helps us raise money so that we can continue uh, to make sure the parks are healthy and pavilions are taken care of.